These are my Game Week 6 EPL predictions. First of all, we've hit 20,000 subscribers, which means I've picked someone at random, and that person is I Talk Football to win their very own EPL shirt, as well as we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so make sure you subscribe so you can win all of these awesome prizes as well. But without further ado, let's get into the Everton-Liverpool game. Now, this is the Merseyside derby. It is going to be very, very heated down there at Everton. Everton last week drew 1-1 to Leeds, starting to find some form Gordon scoring for Everton and I'm expecting them to score against Liverpool this week. Liverpool on the other hand beat Newcastle 2-1. They scored that late goal in the 97th minute to pull the three points out of the bag. To be honest Liverpool still don't look at their best but I think this derby might pull it out of them. So for me I think it's going to be a lot tighter than a lot of people are saying and what the bookmakers are saying. So I'm going for a 1-1 one, one draw and my betting tip is both teams to score. Brentford versus Leeds. This also proves to be a very, very tight game. Brentford drew 1-1 to Crystal Palace last week. Brentford are starting to look a bit better. And that Crystal Palace side is also looking very, very good at the moment. Where Leeds, on the other hand, drew 1-1 to Everton. We just spoke about that game. Leeds falling off a little bit to how they started the season. But I do think this is going to be a very tightly fought game. And I do think, although Leeds are the underdogs from the bookmakers, and I think a lot of people are thinking Brentford's going to win because they're at home, I think Leeds... Leeds have the upper hand here, and that is going to show in my prediction. So I'm going for a 2-1 Leeds win, a little bit of an upset. And my betting tip, there's a lot of value here, Leeds to win or draw. Next up, Wolves taking on Southampton. Now, Wolves and Southampton are very, very even teams at the moment. These first three fixtures are going to be very, very tight starting off the weekend. Wolves drew 0-0 to Bournemouth last week and a team that can't win against Bournemouth at the moment it's just I'm finding it hard to see them beating Southampton if they couldn't beat Bournemouth yes Bournemouth had a manager bounce and all of that but they really should be beating a team like Bournemouth then Southampton came away with a huge victory over Chelsea a 2-1 win for Southampton over Chelsea massive stuff and I'm thinking Southampton's forms on a bit of a rise so I think they might be able to pull the wool over this Wolverhampton side so I'm going for a 1-0 Southampton win and my betting tip is Southampton to win or draw Now this next game is also a massive game in terms of the newly promoted sides we've got Nottingham Forest taking on Bournemouth now, Forrest went down 6-0 to Man City last week. City are just different gravy at the moment. And I'm, I don't see them losing too many teams this season. Bournemouth, on the other hand, getting that 0-0 draw against Wolves, a great result for them after they got drilled 9-0 by Liverpool. But I do think Nottingham Forest have the advantage in this game. They are playing at home. I do think they're overall the better side. Bournemouth are still lacking defenders and defensive structure. So for me, I think this is Nottingham Forest, three points written all over it. So I'm going for a 1-0 Forest win and my betting tip, quite aggressive, but Forest to win. Newcastle taking on Crystal Palace. Now, we spoke about Newcastle succumbing to Liverpool in the 97th minute, losing 2-1, and Crystal Palace with that 1-1 draw against Brentford. I do think this is going to be another tight game this weekend, a whole lot of tight games happening, but Newcastle definitely have the edge here. Yes, Crystal Palace are in form. They've been playing well, but so have Newcastle. I think Newcastle have got a little bit unlucky with some of their results. They should have got a point against Liverpool. They probably should have got three points against Man City, so they're probably not as high up the log as they should be at the moment and I think that's clouding a lot of people's judgment on Newcastle at the moment so for me I think Newcastle have the upper hand here they are playing at home so for me I'm going for a 2-1 Newcastle win and my betting tip is both teams to score Tottenham versus Fulham now this also proves to be a very very dramatic game Alexander Mitrovic is in great form. Harry Kane is in great form. So it's going to be, I think, again, another very, very tight game. Tottenham drew 1-1 to West Ham last week. Tottenham probably should have won that game, but just, just not clicking. Much like Liverpool, they just haven't found their stride in the season like a Man City. Where Fulham, on the other hand, had a great 2-1 win over Brighton. I didn't think they would be able to beat Brighton, and they did. Fulham are also looking very, very dangerous. They're not looking like a team who has just got promoted into the Premier League. They look like they've they season campaigners in the Premier League and are really dealing with these teams well. So I think it is going to be a tight game. I do think Tottenham 
are going to click. They are playing at home. So I'm going for a 2-1 Tottenham win. But just in case Fulham pull a quick one and draw or beat Tottenham, we're going for the over two and a half goals. Chelsea versus West Ham. Now, these are two teams who are not in good form at all. Yes, Chelsea lost 2-1 to Southampton last week. You've got to remember that they were without Rhys James. Rhys James will be back for West Ham. He is a vital component to that team, and I think he's going to help them potentially beat West Ham here. West Ham starting to find a little bit more form last week, drawing 1-1 to Tottenham. They have had a terrible start to the season, but I do think they could potentially turn it around here against a wounded Chelsea team. I don't, I think this is also another tight game, so my prediction is a 2-2 draw. I think it's going to be a lot of goals. Both of these defenses aren't where they once were, and my betting tip is both teams to score. Aston Villa taking on Manchester City. Now, Villa lost 2-1 to Arsenal last week. Arsenal got lucky to get that 2-1 win. They just didn't look like the team that started this season. However, like I've been saying in all my previous episodes, that those great teams find a way to win or draw, getting some points out of the game. Where Man City, on the other hand, absolutely clattered Nottingham Forest 6-0. Erling Haaland had a hat-trick within 35 minutes. I mean, that Man City team is just looking so different, so good, creating so many opportunities, and now they have a world-class striker that finishes those opportunities. It's just a recipe for success. I don't think Aston Villa stand any chance here. Stevie G will probably be getting sacked soon if he can't turn this Villa team around. So I'm going for a 3-0 Man City win. It might be even more. And my betting tip is Man City at a minus one and a half handicap. Brighton versus Leicester. Now we spoke about Brighton's 2-1 loss to Fulham. Leicester, a 1-0 loss to Man United. Man United are starting to get back on the horse and they are looking, starting to look good. We'll chat about them in the next game. But Brighton, one of the best defenses in the Premier League so far. Leicester, one of the worst defenses in the Premier League so far. But Leicester did look like they were starting to find some form against that Man United team. I just think Brighton's going to have too much for this Leicester team, Brighton's defense is too strong and with Gross and Trossard up top, I think they're going to make it very, very difficult for that Leicester defense. So I'm going for a 2-0 Brighton win and my betting tip is Brighton to win. And then finally, the biggest game of the week. Man United taking on Arsenal. Can United upset Arsenal at Old Trafford or will Arsenal continue with their winning ways? Now, there's a couple things that have been happening. Man United has now signed Anthony and they have Casemiro. That team is starting to look good. They're starting to gel. Cristiano Ronaldo is still a point of worry for me, but I do think they're going to start bringing him in slowly and he will have to fall into the way that Ten Hag is wanting to play. Then Arsenal, on the other hand, we just, they've started the season off so well. Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Martinelli, just scoring goals at will. But Kyle Saka is starting to come into some form. He needs to start delivering it a little bit more. But I do think this is going to be another tight game for game week six. Man United are actually favorites on the betting odds. I'm not sure how that's possible. Arsenal slight underdogs, but I do think this is going to be a very, very tight game. So I'm going for a 1-1 draw. And my betting tip is both teams to score. 